Hello. How you doing there? Oops. I had a bad storm today, and the power went out twice. Um, there been a severe, I have a home in Florida, in Fort Myers, and Fort Myers, including Ocala, Gainesville. Actually, all of Florida, except for a few spots up north, such as Jacksonville, are kind of famous for the power going out. There are different sort of power backups, of course, and there are power systems that let you do everything, including comfort power. I call it comfort power versus emergency power. Yeah. Emergency power, of course, is stuff to keep the things going that you need uh, for communication, charging your cell phone, possibly your laptop, and of course you could use if, and of course cell phone towers require power, but power had to be out for quite a long time for the cell towers to actually fail because they actually have uh, backup battery power for uh, their uh, cellular repeater network systems. I have a couple Baofeng radios here in my ham radio operator, at least I used to be, but I mean, I still have these. I communicate on FRS radio channels. You should actually have these for your family. I wanted to talk about this power station, too. I have a generator up at my cabin. I also, too, have a lot of solar panels, including some large one, 320 watt, uh, uh, 320 watt uh, solar panels. They're about five feet by four and a half feet wide, including uh, more than a few 200 watt foldable briefcase types. My favorite, and actually have higher efficiency than even any of my Renogy panels. My, uh, my uh, super rich buddy that lives uh, east of here was actually testing out his Renogies versus these uh, 100 watt uh, panels, and these are compact ones uh, from Ocmo. I have a couple of these. By the way, the maximum power input on the station, and I'm not compensated by Ocmo at all. I have a 2,000 watt power station and a 1,000. 2,000 I don't have a lot of arm muscles. I mean, it's quite heavy, but it's nothing to actually stick it in my uh, my car or you know move it around the house or anything like that. But you know, for packing around in the car, or actually to take to my cabin for spending a couple nights, this a thousand watt is all I need. I actually, I've done a lot of research on the best portable power stations to have, and uh, the other systems are nowhere near as good. They're priced a lot higher. I don't get any compensation from Ocmo, by the way. There is a sale currently on, and I'll put the links below in the description, on the 2,000 watt and the 1,000 watt system. And the system I'm referring to on this is uh, the 1,000 watt or the 2,000 watt system. And I have it in the back room back there. I don't need to bring it out here. It sits about this tall. And two of these uh, 100 watt, and I've reviewed these before, 100 watt uh, portable solar panels you can also, too, just plug in your phone or a USB device. There's a USB and USB-C connector on the 100-watt panels. It'll actually take two of these. And by system, I mean two of the 100 watts, having a total of 200 watts that goes into the power station, since they actually have a maximum input of 200 watts, as do most other power systems. However, the other ones are not the same uh, lithium chemistry. These actually use the exact same battery chemistry that's found in some uh, rechargeable cars. Like Tesla, they're actually NMC batteries, which are nickel, magnesium, cobalt, lithium batteries, or NMC batteries. Um, this one actually has uh, two USB ports, USB-C, uh, three AC outlets. It has a built-in uh, charge controller and a uh, built-in pure sine wave uh, inverter for uh, you're hooking up your devices to. So this is not for, you know, hooking up, even though you can, like a portable refrigerator. I refer to it as emergency power stuff, like if you have a CPAP machine, which is like a breathing machine that needs to be recharged, of course, is necessary for continuance of life, obviously, if the power goes out and you have requirements uh, for power. Um, you know, your laptop, your phone, you gotta run a, of course, you don't need a coffee maker to survive on. But I mean, most moderate current, me, medium to low moderate uh, current consumption devices. I mean, if you're talking about running your, uh, you know, your giant wall unit air conditioner, you know, these are not designed for that. Yeah? Those are for generators, whether it be propane or gasoline generators, and I have a really, really nice gasoline generator down at the cabin, but that requires gasoline. What if you're stranded somewhere, which of course I know is not gonna happen to most people, and, you know, you don't have propane or gas. I mean, you're not going to pack a generator, even if it's one of the Honda generators, uh, which is a gasoline generator. They're actually about yay tall. I used to have one at about a foot and a half wide. No, you don't do that. This, throw this in your car, take it to a remote location, 
take it camping with you. It's going to power your lighting devices. Of course, it depends on what the current draw is. Your communication devices and necessary electronics to take care of what you need instead of uh, not comfort stuff like your hair dryer, your air conditioning system, um, you know, your 65 inch TV, even though this would power that for a period of time. It's not designed for comfort, not the 1000 or the 2000 watt. And people don't realize that. They, they don't understand current draw and what uh, these portable power stations are designed for. They're designed to keep you in moderate comfort and recharge and charge up the necessary stuff that you need recharged. Uh, one of the issues uh, today that uh, I'm seeing more and more of and other people reporting is all the power outages that are going on. I'm experiencing more of them here. And this is Lexington. I mean, this is the, the second largest city in the state. And of course, they're always going on in Florida. But if I want to go camping, I want to go to my cabin out in the woods, I actually take this 1,000 watt unit and it's more than enough to do, you know, recharge my laptop X number of times, power up, recharge my radios, actually uh, have these low energy uh, really, really nice uh, multiple output uh, setting uh, LED units uh, to, to uh, plug into here um, for reading and to uh, light up my cabin since there's no power at my cabin. Right now, like I said, I'm not promoting these. I'm not affiliated with this company. They have $350 off on the package of either the 2000, which is $350 off, or the 1000. By package, I mean uh, the 1,000 or 2,000 watt power station and two of the 100 watt solar panels. So two solar panels in this unit or two solar panels equaling 200 watts in the 2,000 watt power station, which is about this much taller. So 350 off the larger one total in the package or 250, and I have those links below. I'm not compensated and I never use affiliate links, okay? I've never ever used an affiliate link, so I don't get any kickbacks if you buy one. Um, my rich buddy in Mount Sterling, I've talked about him, I've even had him in a few videos. He actually bought one of these units and he loves, he has a, thou, a million watts, a thousand. He has a million watt Tesla coil in his basement. I have a video from that years ago. He does, he loves to stress test things. He hooked up, which these are not designed for heater. I don't know if you know how much current a heater draws, but it draws a lot. He hooked up a heater to this and wanted to see how it performed. He was actually shocked. He's a guy that's never impressed by anything. He was actually shocked on the the uh, performance of the 1000 watt Ocmo and his uh, heater. He had a heater and was recharging his laptop and powering a light system at the same time. And after, I uh, forget, a couple hours, he was only down by a bar and a half on the 1000 watt Ocmo unit. Um, yeah, I had over here mentioning what the price uh, difference was on these on sale right now. I think the sale goes on for another 10 hours, I believe. In the link below, which again, they're not affiliate links. I absolutely love these. My, much of more than half my life, I always wanted a power station. Just things happened in life, you know, with my wife dying and moving to Florida and uh, just countless other things. I never got around to uh, getting a power station. I love a power station. Gasoline or propane generators are not in any way, shape, or form, including the really small Honda units designed for portability. Um, to be perfectly honest, one of the necessary things to have, especially with, with what's going on in the world right now, is to have a power station. And uh, depending on the sun intensity, there's about a dozen different variables that decide how long it takes to recharge under ideal condition with 200 watts of input on this 1,000 watts uh, power station. You know, this is a 100 watt panel and another one like it. They actually come with a connector that joins both of them together. And they actually uh, plug in right here in the Anderson power pole conductor. You can't even take your Renogy solar panels and use an $11 MC4 to Anderson power pole Y adapter and plug in here also to recharge them through here. Roughly about 12 hours uh, at 30% if you get this down to 30%. Like I said, this is an NMC battery which is a lithium, uh, lithium nickel magnesium cobalt. Uh, same as used in uh, rechargeable cars. Also too, other uh, emergency electronics, I can make a, a list of those, but these are actually, uh, everybody asks me about these, I see them hanging on my wall on live stream, these are the F8 HP Baofeng radios, I think these are currently like $160 each, of course one is only going to do you so much good, you know, if you have family members or your buddy, whoever it is you need to talk to, 150 bucks each, the only difference is I put a higher gain antenna on this one. These have 8 watts of high power output uh, on the FRS, uh, family radio channels, they actually do other things too, that these radios are not supposed to do, but I won't get into that. Are they simple and cheap? Yes, they are, but they're also reliable and they're very cheap. 
and they're great. You get no weather radio, you get AM, you get FM on these. Uh, you get, uh, of course, you need a license not to operate on FRS, but you need a license to operate on 2 meter 440 uh, with these. Um, but they do 2 meter 440, no weather radio, and AM and FM for what they are. I have the larger battery on these too, by the way. They're really cheap and they're really awesome. These are emergency electronic devices. Emergency electronic devices of which I could list a few. Of course, it depends on what you need and what you use. It could be emergency medical uh, system that you need for, like I said, like a CPAP uh, system or an oxygen generating system that actually runs off of batteries during a serious power outage. You know, back when it really hit the fan and down in Louisiana and uh, other places uh, uh, where we had hurricanes and people were without power for a long time, having a power station just to keep in touch with relatives, because you know how long it takes for a cell phone to go out. You know, what are you going to recharge it with? Yeah, you could go out to your car and plug it in the cigarette lighter adapter and, you know, burn, you have to burn gas in your vehicle while you're actually recharging it. But if you have a couple solar panels and a power station, you know, you're not reliant on propane, you're not reliant on gasoline, you're not reliant on gasoline in your vehicle. You know, you're literally using the sun to uh, recharge this uh, power station. I love these Akamos. These are the best for the money. They're way better than Jackery, way better than the Goal Zero. They're cheaper and better and made better than those units are. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. So. But anyway, if you want to take advantage of one, you know, they're $350 off on the 2,000-watt uh, package and uh, 250 off on the 1,000-watt package on this Akamo 1000. No affiliate links. I don't get any kickbacks, okay? I have to say that again. But uh, should I make a video about emergency electronic devices? You know, there's more than a few of them, but one of them definitely... Two of them I have here, of course. Number one is your power station. Number two, of course, is the solar panels to go with it. What good? What are you going to recharge your <laughs> your power station with when the power goes out? Like, I got a power station, been using it for a week. Now the power's gone. Over here, yeah. Use your electronics during the day while this unit is charging, and at night you recharge your electronics, rinse, cycle, and repeat. Everybody should have a power station. And these are great. I'm so glad I got a couple of these. This one to me is my portable one, and I have a 2,000 watt in the back room, which I didn't bring out here. It's about that much taller. That I purchased as a base station power supply. When it comes to solar, too, you don't have to worry about packing around and a charge uh, controller, which you need with solar, and a power inverter, which you need with solar in your battery systems. I have all sorts of lead acid batteries laying around here. I got. A thousand watt uh, lithium iron phosphate down here, but they're just batteries. You gotta have to have a charge controller and the the inverter to go with them. Everything, all of those three things are right in here: the battery, the charge controller, and the inverter. So, makes it very, very handy. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.